Welcome to a quick overview of Microsoft M365 Secure Score. Secure Score is a part of the Defender Suite. We're going to do a quick overview of this uh, feature today to increase your security and lower your risk profile. Microsoft Secure Score Overview is brought to you by Pivotal Consulting, a Microsoft Gold Partner. My name is David Watts. I'm a senior cloud consultant with Pivotal Consulting. And I'll be taking you through a quick demo and walkthrough of Secure Score so we can see how we can identify and resolve gap and increase our security standing. Microsoft M365 Secure Score. It's an analytics application driven by AI and uses optimal configuration arrangements in order to contrast what is currently in play with your tenant and subscription services. It identifies the gaps across the major services for applications and data and infrastructure that are part of your subscription. Secure Score is an application component, part of the Defender Suite. So it is a inventory environment that provides you the gaps and it renders them with a scoring based on the impact significance. So one of the nice parts of Secure Score is that it also provides you a rich set of resources to research and analyze, understand what those gaps are, why they exist, and what to do about them. To navigate to Secure Score, we got to get to the Security Admin Center. To get to the Microsoft M365 Secure Score application, we will navigate to the Security Administrator Center and we can go there from portal.microsoft.com or security.microsoft.com. Once logged in, we can see um, Secure Score as a option on the navigation panel to the left. And once we select that, we will be in Secure Score. Once in Secure Score, we see the overview panel. This portal environment basically provides a number of widgets that summarize the major categories of improvement actions or the gap inventory, the history, the metrics and trends. We can see a running timeline that shows what our secure score is rising and falling. Um, and we can see the breakdown points by the categories that are found within the inventories that are in play. Currently, our top improvement actions are displayed with most of them belonging to the identity and apps environments. So categorically, that's why they're represented as they are. So let's go in and have a look at how we can pick some of these um, gap items that are in the top improvement action stack. And we can uh, use Secure Score to take action, uh, modify our configuration, and improve our environment and resolve gap. Today, the top improvement actions are a gap listing provided to us by Secure Score. They're categorically organized by score impact. That is the impact of security risk that that gap presents. Okay, so let's jump in. Secure Score is accessed through your main portal, .microsoft.com or you can get there by way of security.microsoft.com. Choosing your Security Admin Center, you will get to the M365 Defender. On the left panel, you'll see Secure Score. Secure Score is presented with a overview portal representing the improvement actions, history, metrics, and trends. You'll see your summary graph trending with the actions that you're doing, um, you move them from to address into planned. If you have items underway that are expanding in uh, gap, you'll see that they're regressing. Um, you have risk accepted. In other words, you will resolve some of these by accepting the risk. Uh, there will be additions to the stack and updates to the stack as you go along. This top improvements action is the inventory of gaps that we're looking for. There is a rich set of um, reading and learning for the uh, secure score capabilities down here. But today we're going to go quickly in here and have a look at a few of these and make some resolutions. Uh, we're going to pick one, the high level items. These are all sorted on impact from low, high to low. 
and uh, we're going to move this into plan and we are going to say MFA for administrators and we're going to move it from to address into planned and we're going to look at the implementation recommendations so the middle tab will advise you if you have a license contention or a gap of license something that you need to do for licensing um, it'll also give you a standard approach to resolve the issue uh, this is a, a recommended game plan uh, or workout plan for this gap but you can do your own so this is good, uh, good guidance and um, it advises where this is. So it's conditional access for MFA for an administration group. This is not all of the administrators. It's a good selection uh, of some of the critical roles. So uh, we'll go and apply that MFA conditional access policy to those guys. And um, so one of the shortcuts we can do today is where this advises us to create a new policy and gives us the instructions or the specs within the workout plan um, we can also look at the new preview item and some of these recommendations are templated for us. We're currently working in identities related um, gap so we're going to look for that and what we find is require multi-factor authentication for admins is one of the templates provided so it's primed. There's a number of others that you can explore in here but we will turn that on for this administration group. We're seeing that it's uh, being created and there it is right there. So um, we've got the policy created and we um, have moved the action item into plan state. So we will see that when we refresh and that will demonstrate the status change moving into a planned status. So we're going to do two more that's in planned. We're going to turn on two more that are very quick for us. We're going to uh, move this into planned and this will be a um, change password for a risk user login. So anybody that's looking like they're compromised, if they're trying to get uh, a sign on, uh, they'll find that their uh, password change is going to be requested. So um, again, our licensing is clear and we're looking for switching a state to on for a policy. The link takes us directly there. So that is good. Require password change for users risk low and above. That's pretty much everyone. So we're going to enforce that policy and turn it on and we see that it's successfully saved to Azure AD. Now we come back here. We know that that's in plan and we will do a quick refresh to see our status change. And that has now been moved to plan. We're going to turn on uh, sign in risk policy. We're going to look at what that is. It's turning on this risk policy. Uh, ensures that suspicious sign-ins are challenged for multi-factor authentication. So if it looks like there is uh, some suspect activity, um, it will basically ask for a update to get onto an MFA. Uh, MFA required for um, uh, sign, uh, we'll say identified. So we're going to change that. We're going to save um, that. So we're going to plan. We've put in our action plan. We have implementation. Now let's go and do that action so that it's corrected and we've closed the gap. Again, what we could do is we can get into here and look at um, users. We can basically select all users. We can exclude. In this case, I have excluded a global admin. Uh, that is a sample account. It's uh, disabled at this time, so we won't worry about that. But that is where you can include everyone and exclude a few folks, or you can just select, uh, make a selection of end users or groups. 
Uh, but in this case, what we'll do is we'll ensure this policy that is turned on. And um, now we've got advice that that has happened and we are in plan state and again, a refresh. So what we will see is that our gap stack is being worked on and we have these in planned and in our overview, what now we can see under breakdown points, we'll change it from a categorical view to a status. We'll see these items are in planned. We're gonna gain 24 points. We have the rest of the stack to attend to, which is to address and those completed. So we're going to see this trend line in contrast to what is planned in our licensing. So we can see 100% is, um, you know, our optimal maximum. Uh, but we can see our achievable score has risen. And our current planned um, is actually rising to what is um, where the new bar level has been set. We can see how our organization um, appears in contrast to our peer organization tenants with subscription services uh, like this tenant um, and with end user um, scale that matches. So we're looking to get up to 46 to be on par with what our peer organizations appear to be doing. And uh, we're going to um, um, move along with that. This history actually tells us all of the actions that have taken. Uh, to improve our score and it will show that trend line again. The metrics and trends is simply uh, more AI, BI that's uh, uh, applied to the uh, secure score environment. And um, when we do risk accepted items, they will come into play and then we're gonna see how, um, what, at what level we're doing risk accepted. In other words, we're not mediating any of those items. We're just accepting the risk. But overall, we can see that we've got a stack that is still in to address or to do. We have these items that are planned. And uh, when they're completed, um, as they are now, but when the sync occurs, uh, what we'll find is that there is a time to synchronize secure updates. Uh, secure updates may take up to 24 hours. And um, then they will come in and register as a status completed. And that's a great way to use Microsoft Secure Score. Um, I do like a lot of this where the uh, workflow um, will, uh, can be um, annotated and documented. Uh, when we get into each one of these individual items, we have the action plan here. This is an expandable window. So if we have a number of items to do, I'm gonna show you one quick thing which is um, the recommended uh, implementation plan might be this seven point plan. Um, but what we may do in this case is uh, get into this environment here, use this note, and uh, we may copy that workout plan. And then we may um, modify some of this using the roles um, identified in the template. So right there, we've essentially modified this plan and um, we've added our own customized approach and we've put that into our action plan and that's noted with the item. So overall, we are now sitting in a place where we can watch our secure score rise and we will meet or exceed our industry peers. And we'll constantly look at this for um, new additions and we will continue to work down the stack and uh, work out these gaps accordingly. So that's a quick overview of using Microsoft Secure Score. So in summary, Secure Score can be visited on a regular basis to improve the overall security of all service platforms that are part of your M365 environment. Secure Score can help achieve a lower risk profile 
with increased application, data, and infrastructure security and can be incorporated into your overall governance, risk, and compliance program. Secure Score can be the security environment that informs your GRC team, so resolution plans can be made that work with your change management team. Overall, Secure Score is an excellent application environment that identifies your gaps, provides resolution plans, and also offers a great deal of resources that can aid you in researching why those gaps occur, what is involved in closing those gaps, and the benefits that you'll gain for your M365 environment. Thank you for joining me for this quick presentation.